First up, let's brave the cold and head to Starea Nadim in Siberia. This ancient land, locked in a deep freeze, is a vault of permafrost mysteries. Beneath the icy surface, it's believed to harbor prehistoric life forms and long forgotten climactic secrets. But the relentless cold, combined with the very remote location, makes scientific exploration a near impossible feat. What secrets lie beneath this frozen expanse? Well, only time will tell. Next, we delve into the heart of the Amazon. We go from frozen to tropical, to the Javari Valley. This vast, unexplored region is teeming with biodiversity, possibly hosting species completely unknown to science. Its dense canopy and formidable terrain have kept it shielded from the outside world. The risks here aren't just about getting lost, they're about encountering unknown wildlife and navigating a labyrinth of natural obstacles. The Javari Valley remains one of the Amazon's last true frontiers. Next up, we have the town of Itorkotomi. This town is located in one of the most remote areas of Greenland and actually requires a helicopter ride from the nearest airport in order to actually get to the town. It was founded quite recently actually in 1925 by a Danish polar explorer and around 80 Inuit settlers and is about as far as you can get from any other inhabited area in Greenland. Despite this more recent settling based on ruins and other archaeological remains, it became clear that this area was once inhabited sometime in our history by Inuit populations of the past. There's around 450 residents and the town is known for its wildlife that includes polar bears, musk oxen, and seals. This place can be a very popular tourist destination because of the stunning northern lights as well as other natural wonders. Cruise ships also love to stop here, but that can be a little tricky considering nine months out of the year, sea ice will block any ship from being able to dock. Next up, we have the Gangkar Sudanam in Bhutan. Ascending to new heights, we find ourselves here at this towering peak, which is the world's highest unclimbed mountain. Sacred to the local people and respected by the Bhutanese government, it's off limits to climbers. What ecological and geological wonders could be hidden in its unexplored heights? We can only speculate as its slopes and summit remain a complete mystery, respected and untouched. Moving on down our list, we have Point Nemo. This is the most remote location on Earth. It's officially known as the Oceanic Pole of Inaccessibility because it is the furthest point away from land. This area is surrounded by more than 1,000 miles of ocean in every direction. There is obviously no humans who live even close to Point Nemo, which is why it is called that in the first place, Nemo being Latin for no one. While this may not be a scientifically impossible place, this is just one fact that is honestly shocking to me and is what got this place a spot on this list. This location is so isolated that the closest people to Nemo aren't even on this earth. Since the inhabited area closest to the point is over 1,000 miles away, the humans aboard the International Space Station are way closer than anyone on land. It's truly just wild. It kind of sounds just completely made up. <laughs> Venturing now down into the vastness of the ocean, we find Tristan da Cunha, the most remote inhabited archipelago in the world. Located in the South Atlantic Ocean, it's over 2,000 kilometers from the nearest continent. The island's isolation has preserved unique wildlife and a distinct human culture, virtually untouched by the external world. The logistical challenges of reaching Tristan da Cunha mean that many of its natural wonders remain unstudied and shrouded in mystery. And today our final stop takes us to the island of Madagascar, which we love here on the channel, specifically to the Stingy de Bimara National Park. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is famed for its limestone karst landscape, a forest of razor-sharp pinnacles known as Tsingy. These jagged formations 
create a natural fortress, making vast areas nearly inaccessible. Inside its labyrinth, unique ecosystems thrive, possibly containing undiscovered species. The inaccessibility of Tsingyi keeps it as one of Earth's true natural fortresses.